A modified chaff cart is playing an important role in Simon Kerrin's ongoing battle against herbicide-resistant ryegrass. Crop and chemical rotation, grazing, and now the attachment of a chaff cart out the back of the header, all form part of an integrated approach to maximising the weed kill and minimising the risk of herbicide resistance. Oh, I think the, um, the big one is, uh, and the reason it made us think about it, was just the cost of new chemicals that are going to be needed to control resistant ryegrass is, is, uh, is going to be more and more. It's certainly, we haven't seen the results yet, we've only been doing it for 12 months, so we hope within the next couple of years we'll start seeing results. The Grains Research and Development Corporation has been encouraging the use of chaff carts within weed management strategies as a non-chemical means of reducing weed population. Research supported by the GRDC and conducted through the University of Western Australia's Australian Herbicide Resistance Initiative has shown that 75-85% to 85 of ryegrass seed and 85-95% to 95 of wild radish seed that enters the header during harvest is collected in the chaff cart, amounting to a significant reduction to weed seed beds. The Karens bought their second-hand chaff cart about a year ago. They have modified it to ensure some straw is collected with the weed seeds to improve the burning of the chaff dumps. One thing that, that makes this um, so much easier is with the burning of it. With the, putting the straw in the system as opposed to a conventional chaff cart, you can uh, burn overnight and the piles are gone and it's quite simple as long as you've got the, the chaff cart piles in a, in a, in a line across the paddock um, you, we rake, rake around them and then uh, burn them and they're gone by the next morning.